Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In the previous demo, I created a template that I'm going to be using for my content type. Now I'm going to connect that to my content type so it's actually used wherever I use my content type, which is in this document library, for example. And I'm not going to publish this. Where it doesn't have the concept of publishing as a document template for a content type. So I need to save it on my computer. I'm just going to save it on my desktop, for example, wherever it works, of course. And then I'm just going to call that Contoso quote template. And it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a difference as far as I can tell between using a, a docx file or a .x file, a word template. I, both work equally well in my experience, but whichever you want, like. And please do let me know in the comments if you find uh, something that doesn't work with the Word document that forces you to use a template. I haven't found anything yet. So I'm going to close this now, close down Word. And then I'm going to go into my site settings. There we go, site settings. And then find the site content types. And to find my content type now, I'll go to the group, Contoso. There is my Contoso quote. And under the advanced settings here, I can either point out an existing document template or I'm going to upload a new document template. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select it from the desktop where I put it. There we go, desktop, and just upload that. And as you see, this update sites and list, uh, that's been visible a couple of times, this update option. It's very important, and that's part of how content types work. There's a background update work job that's being done. So now when I've created this template, I've connected it to the content type, I can go into my quotes document library, and now when I create new there, new Contoso quote, you see it's using this template that I just added there. So I'm starting that and now I can type in my information either in the document information panel up here or down here. So if I start typing there, quote two, you'll notice when I switch field here, it's filled out there too. Quote date, and that's going to be these days. Quote decision dates a few days later and quote value 20,000. And it's still undecided. And then I'm just going to close this now. Save. File name is going to be quote2. And as you see, it used my template now. And of course, all the metadata will be visible in my document library here. So that concludes my demo on how to use a template for a document library. Thank you for watching this demo.